How's it going everybody? It's Pride here and welcome back to another Q&A video. Like I've said before, if you have any questions you would like to ask me, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. But uh, in the background you guys got some For Honor gameplay along with some Dark Souls 3 that you're going to be seeing uh, right after this. And I did want to uh, put some For Honor in here because I did get asked about that game too. So, might as well get to it with the first question, also involving Neo though, which is... Now that you've gotten a chance to play both Neo and For Honor, which one are you looking forward to the most? And this is kind of tough, man, because right off the bat, pretty much after I finished playing Neo and I started playing For Honor, and maybe even like right after For Honor, I knew the answer right away, and that was Neo. I loved my time with Neo, and I'm seriously so fucking excited to play it. Now we're only like, what, five days away? Which, man, I am pumped for that game, but as I kind of started thinking more about it, and as I let For Honor sit with me, and uh, kind of started thinking a little bit more about it, watching more videos, and kind of realizing a couple things I never knew about, uh, techniques about characters that I never even realized, and just thinking about trying out these moves and these characters. Once the full game comes out, it's really kind of a toss-up, but the beautiful thing about both of these games is that they're a perfect complement to each other. We got Neo. Uh, it is going to have PvP, not right away, but it is something they are going to be adding to the game later on. But for the most part, it is very much a Souls-like game. A game that has a lot of emphasis on difficulty and skill. Amazing combat. Honestly, it may be too early to say, but maybe even better combat than Dark Souls 3. At least when it comes to PvE, maybe. A lot of fun, really difficult. But then it also, you know, you never know how that multiplayer is going to be. You never know how the PvP is going to be or how long it's going to take. And when it comes to For Honor, it's basically all going to be online related PvP. It does have a campaign, but let's be honest, most people are mainly looking forward to the multiplayer aspect of this game. Honestly, when uh, I saw a lot of people talking about this game, especially people from the Dark Souls community, I expected a more Souls-like game. Definitely didn't get that, but it is going to be a game that I know that most people who enjoy Dark Souls are going to enjoy and play a bunch. It's very much basically like a fighting game with swords and you see a lot of people say that and you think about it and you're like that's pretty fucking weird but once you play the game and you understand the mechanics of the game then you will know what most people are talking about and that's definitely how i felt another one that has a really high skill gap as well so it will take a bunch of time to learn but they're perfect for each other and i'm so happy they're coming out close to each other i do kind of wish they were maybe a little bit more further apart because they come out uh one week apart from each other two huge games so that's going to be a little bit tough to balance, especially for somebody like me who really wants to play both of them and upload a decent amount of both of them. But I am super excited for both of these games. I don't really have an answer on which one I'm more excited about. I guess if I just had to go off of my gut feeling right now, I would say Neo. But that's, I think, mainly because it's only like five days away compared to still like a week and a half away. But I'd definitely be interested to uh, know which one you guys have been looking forward to the most. But now we move on to another question which asks... Since Bloodborne is the previous game in the Soulsborne franchise, what one thing would you have wanted to carry over to Dark Souls 3? So maybe like a, a weapon or something like that. I'm guessing that is what he means, but I do kind of have like two things I really wanted. One of them I'm sure most people wouldn't like, but it's something I really enjoy, and that is Chalice Dungeons. I think Chalice Dungeons were really unique to Bloodborne. Uh, they were something that were basically didn't really make much of a difference when it came to the game unless you really cared about having really good weapons because some of the best gems were going to be in the chalice dungeons along with some of the biggest challenges in the game playing through the chalice dungeons and i did play through all of them completed all of them was one of the hardest things i did especially that one where you basically it's the amygdala but then you have like half your health or some shit like that and you're basically one hit every single time one hit one hit one hit so pretty much having to go flawless against a giant boss that has giant arms, shoots lasers, is fucking ridiculous. And one of my favorite things about it was that if you wanted to go ahead and try out this extra thing, you were going to get rewarded with a bunch of new bosses that aren't in the main game, even some new enemies too. And I think it was a lot of fun, but I also didn't really like that if you really wanted the absolute best thing for your weapon, you had to grind out these chalice dungeons, although I didn't mind. So that's probably the main thing, and when it comes to a weapon, I guess, just a second thing isn't really needed, but I think it would be fucking awesome to have in this game, which is the Whirly Jigsaw, or the Whirly Jigsaw, whichever one you want to call it. The fucking pizza cutter. Probably my favorite weapon in Bloodborne was 
fucking ridiculous, especially, uh, I think I was, like, on, like, New Game Plus 3 or some shit like that. And that thing wrecked on my character, like, bosses just got decimated with that thing on my character by the end of it. So I think having this weapon in Dark Souls 3 would be pretty freaking awesome, although I understand that it wouldn't fit and it wouldn't be right for this game. But I think Chalice Dungeons would be a pretty good fit. And I am kind of curious to see how many people would agree with me in the comments. Up next, just a quick question. Who is your waifu? Well, you guys know that uh, Andre? It's Andre. It's Andre. He's got it going on. Now for the next question. Uh, one thing that I do get asked a lot, which is why don't I stream on Twitch instead of YouTube? And this one I can explain for a bit, but uh, I guess the quick explanation is that Twitch doesn't benefit me as much as YouTube does. Whenever I stream on YouTube, it's a lot easier for people to tune in. It just pops up in your sub box. People are like, oh, I'm going to click on it. And for some reason, I do feel like it is a lot easier to just watch a stream than it is to watch a YouTube video. I could very easily sit down and just watch somebody stream for like 20 minutes. And 20 minutes will feel like nothing compared to, you know, like a two hour, three hour live stream or something like that. Then it is to sit there and watch a 20 minute video. And I don't know why that is. I think it's just because it's live and you can interact with the people who are actually streaming live. But that's definitely one of the reasons. Whenever the videos go live, they go straight onto YouTube and the views actually do carry over, which means that sometimes those videos have a chance to hit like the search engine and get a bunch of views, get a bunch of new subscribers and people coming to my channel having never seen any of my previous videos, which uh, let's be honest, most of them would probably leave after they hear me talk for a few minutes. And I definitely think it's much easier, although I do enjoy streaming on Twitch. I have streamed on Twitch a couple of times. I do have a Twitch channel and I may start streaming a little bit more on Twitch because I do have like over a thousand followers on Twitch and I don't even stream on there. So I feel like if I did give it like a decent effort, a decent amount of people would go over there, check out the streams. But for the most part, it is just easier to kind of get people into a YouTube stream when it's just there and there's sub boxes that are going over to, uh, to Twitch. But I could probably talk about why I don't stream on Twitch super often, you know, for a while. Most people that you do see uh, stream on Twitch have been streaming on Twitch exclusively for a very long time and have accumulated a good amount of subs and followers. And I think that would just take too long, especially for somebody like me who just focuses mainly on YouTube. It's a lot easier to just do all that on YouTube. So I hope that I answered your question there because it is one that I do get asked quite often. And for the final question, uh, and I believe I may have answered this before, but I do still get asked, which is, uh, any chance for a Bloodborne or Dark Souls 2 DLC playthrough? Because in case you guys don't know, I never got a chance to play through the Dark Souls 2 DLC, neither of them. Which is something that I maybe will want to go back and do one day, because any need Dark Souls content for me, especially since Dark Souls is coming to an end with the final DLC, is going to be something that I do want. And I love Dark Souls 2, even though the PvE is kind of... Meh, you know, for me, the PvP was the main focus on that game. But I don't really know, man. Those are pretty old games, and the way I think about it is I honestly don't know if people want to see that. I don't know if people want to see, like, a Bloodborne new game playthrough or, like, a new game plus four playthrough because I believe that's where I am with my character. But I guess it really just depends on what people want to see. There may be a chance where I say, fuck it, and I just pop on the stream, play Bloodborne for a couple hours, and then just keep doing that for a few days, and then boom. There's a very quick playthrough, but I guess if you guys would be interested in seeing that, you could let me know in the comment section down below. But I definitely will never leave out a possible playthrough for something Dark Souls or Souls-like related. So either way, thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do me a favor by dropping a like. It always helps me out a bunch. But thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace, everybody.